In this video, we're going to download and install Microsoft Office on your MacBook. First thing we need to do is go to Safari. From here, we go to the website office.com. On this web page, we're going to press sign in. And you'll sign in using your student username. And we're going to turn that into our EQ email by adding at eq.edu.au. This will then take you to our managed internet service sign in page where you need to use your username. So it's not your whole email this time, it's just your username and your password. You then need to tick that you agree to the conditions of use and privacy statement before clicking sign in. From this page, up in the top right hand corner, choose Install Office and choose the first one that says Office 365 Apps. It will then ask, it may ask you if you want to allow downloads. I'm going to say that I would like that file. And you will see it is downloading in the bottom right hand corner. So there's a progress bar there that will work its way across. This will take quite a while. Same with up in the corner, depending on the internet that you are that you have. Once that download completes, we're going to come down here to our downloads folder, and here is our Microsoft Office package. So I'm going to select that one. This will bring up our installer. So we're going to go continue, continue. Make sure you agree to the terms of the software. It will let you know how much of your hard drive it's going to take up and we're going to install. We're going to press OK for this step. Now that's done, I'm going to press the close button. I don't need to keep the installer, so I'm going to move that to the bin. I can now close this window and I can minimize Safari because we're going to use this a little bit later. Then the next step is to activate Office. To do that, we're going to go to the Launchpad. We're going to find Microsoft OneNote. Now when this opens up, we're going to step through the first couple of pages and press get started. From here, we want to sign in to our school account. This will allow our notebooks to sync. To do that, we're going to use our school email address, the same as we used to download Office, and then choose next. That will ask us for our managed internet service page again. Type in your username, password, make sure that you agree to the conditions of use and privacy statement and then sign in. Now we're ready to go. So we can press the start using OneNote button. From here, all we need to do is go back onto Safari we can open up Outlook to access our emails. And then if we have a look through either the focused or the other folder, you should have an email called SharePoint app. Once I've found this, I can go over to the email and down in there, I can press the open button to open that OneNote. So from the online one, we can press the open in app button at the top. We're going to allow it to open in Microsoft OneNote.
and that will bring up your class OneNote where you will have your learning materials saved in these sections down the side.